Uh, hello, welcome. Well, this project uh, is gonna be so useful for your math classes because using these materials, white paper, a black pen, a ruler, and colors, and you can use. It's better to use uh, wooden colors, but if you have markers, you can use markers or crayons or any color that you have, but. In my case, I'm going to use, or I used, um, wooden colors. And what is the project? Well, um, I think you are already learning about multiplication. So it will be easier for you to learn multiplication using this that is called Pythagorean multiplication board. And what is the name? Well, Pythagoras, that is one of the most important mathematic mathematicians, um, invented this board to make multiplication easier. For example, I'm gonna close close this to you. I'm gonna put it closer. And for example, here I have one times one, one. One times two, two. Yeah, one times three, three. One times four, four. Okay. Uh, the the board for one times one is so easy. But for example, two times two equals four, right? Two times three equals six. Two times four equals two. So you are following this pattern and it's easier for you to remember how to multiply uh, for example 5 times 6 is 30 you see 5 times 7 equals 35 another one 8 times 5 equals you see 40 8 times 8 equals 64 so this is this is easier an easier way to learn how to multiply so the coloring is up to you you can make uh, you can use any color that you want I thought this looks nice you can follow my coloring or you can color as you want because I know you are so creative and we're going to use uh, a black marker too or you can use the black pen so let's begin first the coloring part I'm gonna leave it to you okay I'm going to make only the board and you are free to color so first let's take the pen and the ruler and the paper and let's begin so at this height of the paper yeah place the ruler like this and zero here on the edge and go up to eight centimeters so here at eight make a mark with the pen and count one on nine you have you are here at eight on nine make another mark is one centimeter one two at ten make a mark three at eleven four at twelve five at thirteen six at fourteen seven at fifteen eight at sixteen nine at seventeen ten at eighteen and eleven at nineteen so you have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay eleven centimeters and make a line so from eight centimeters to nineteen centimeters make a line but make dots or marks 
on each centimeter something like this let me put it closer to you you see okay next uh, move the paper like this try to make the line as straight as possible and you're gonna mark the same is as straight as possible right so it's the same it's like here I have my ruler straight and from the line that I already made I'm gonna place the ruler at zero and we are going to make from 0 to 11 so first is like 1 make a mark 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 9 10 11 and trace the line okay same here is place the ruler as straight as possible yeah and place it with zero on this line and I insist it should be as straight as possible there and the same is like one centimeter make a mark two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and trace a mark uh, trace a line from zero to eleven okay and here is easier because you have already the lines so put the ruler at zero here eleven here but you need to mark the centimeters so it's like oops there as straight as possible okay there so it's like one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and trace the line there so you have a, a square right okay now let's make lines it's like put the, the ruler on the first dot here and here align them yeah and make the lines it's like follow the, the two dots place the ruler at the two dots and make the line one the next centimeter is the same is two the next centimeter is three next centimeter there four next centimeter there five be sure that your hands are clean okay and the ruler is clean so you don't stain the paper six seven eight nine and ten but I'm gonna have eleven lines one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay so turn the paper and do the same with the other dots <laughs> like this is uh, here here and trace a line one the other one dot to dot dot to dot 
to three four five six don't go outline I I was outline here seven eight nine and ten you see okay now let's trace the numbers or let's make the numbers but you can use a marker or you can use the pen I'm gonna use the marker okay because it's easier for me to use the marker for example you can use a marker uh, or a sharpie I'm gonna make I'm gonna use a, a marker a regular marker if you have a sharpie you can use a sharpie or I insist you can use a pen but the thing is that we need to, to place the, the numbers in a certain way check the first the first square goes empty the first square is empty and then you can go first down or to the right and goes like this it's like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay okay and then from left to right is the same is like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay perfect now from this down to this square to the right is the same is like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and to the right you already have one then two three four five six seven eight nine and ten okay now let's continue with the results here on the next uh, square goes by two is like you already have two and then you go four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen and twenty okay now to the right is the same four we already have four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty now next you go by thirds it's like number three you have already six here and go down go down it's like nine twelve 
18 21 24 27 and 30 same to the right is you already have 9 so go 12 15 18 21 24 27 and 30 okay next go down starting with 16 20 24 28 32 36 and 40 same to the right is 20 24 28 32 36 and 40 okay we're almost there next start up to down with 25 30 35 40 45 and 50 same to the right you already have 25 so continue with 30 35 40 45 and 50 okay next let's continue with uh, 36 so it goes 36 42 48 54 and 60 to the right is the same you already have 36 so continue with 42 48 54 and 60 next let's go down with 49 yeah 49 56 63 and 70 the same to the right you already have 59 continue with six, uh, 56 63 and 70 down 64 72 and 80 to the right 72 and 80 and continue with the next one is 81 90 and here is only 90 and the last square is for 100 there you go now you are finished and here this one mark the times sign remember that is a, an X so you're making this it's 1 times 1 1 2 times 2 4 3 times 3 6 yeah it's like when you when, when you play to the with the numbers and making the multiplication okay but I insist you can write the topic or the title Pythagorean that is the name because of Pythagoras so Pythagorean is P Y T H A G O R E A N Pythagorean multiplication board multiplication M U L T I P L I C A T I O N board B O A R D 
Pythagorean multiplication board that is the title and I insist you can color as you are you're free to color okay I'm gonna show you mine but because I want you to know that for example I color blue here I color blue the first line but from left uh, from top to bottom is blue the first line but from left to right is the same color and here the result of these two is the same color but lighter the second line is light blue the third line is purple but light purple uh, but here the result is softer yeah it's lighter than this green is the sec the, the next one but the result is lighter so looks better but I insist you can use any color that you want but should be like one color per per line okay one different color per line okay so I insist this is very useful for you for your math classes so this is a project ah actually you can use you can cut it and put it on uh, paste it on uh, on cardboard from a cereal box and then put contact paper so you can protect the, t the the board and you can use it at school or when you're uh, doing homework okay so I hope you like it and see you next time bye bye